Math 13 students, <clears throat> an example on testing for linear correlation. This is the material we will need for section 10.1. Come with me. All right, I've done things a little bit differently this time. <clears throat> I've actually written the stuff out first. And we'll see if this goes any better. So 10.1, test for linear correlation. So <clears throat> there's a very distinct process here that we run through. It really doesn't change. Uh, which is kind of nice. I don't have to worry about left tail, right tail, two tail. You'll see. <clears throat> we have a very precise process also. <clears throat> we want to make sure we enter in our X and our Y data. I'll use list one for X and list two for Y. Uh, you can use any list, obviously, as long as you uh, take a look at the scatter plot once you get that data in there. What you're looking for is something that is approximately linear. And we're only going to proceed with the test if the pattern is approximately linear. So let me be clear on that. We're going to graph a scatter plot. And I'm looking for something, maybe positive, maybe negative slope, but something that is approximately linear in pattern. <clears throat> I'm not going to be fussy. No, not at all. <clears throat> Just something that's approximately linear. Now, what about the test itself? <clears throat> always, always, always we test for rho equals zero for the null hypothesis and rho not equal to zero for the alternative. I will remind people that that is the Greek letter rho, not like rho, rho, rho your boat, but R-H-O, rho. <clears throat> Now, it's really important to note that the correlation will be useful if we reject the null hypothesis. If we can reject the null hypothesis, we will use x to predict a y value. And that is the power, the beauty, the reason behind the process. <clears throat> what about tools? What kind of tools do we need here? We need a couple of different tools, which is what makes this a complicated process. <clears throat> the graph. We need the stat plot command with the scatter plot uh, option. I uh, will use the zoom stat uh, command to get the picture we'll want. And then we'll use linear regression t-test. It's one of the built-in capabilities on your calculator to conduct our tests. Now, Let's take a look at an example, and we'll run through everything. We're going to test for linear correlation between SAT scores and GPA. <clears throat> we have a level of significance, 0 0.05. Now, the first thing we'll do before we test is to take a look at the scatter plot. So let me run through those keystrokes. You have them on another video. I have my X data in list one, my Y data in list two, SAT, GPA. Now, second stat plot brings up that particular option. Plot number one, remember, if it's turned off, turn them on or you're not going to see anything and it'll be a disappointment. The scatter plot's your first option under the type of graph. Second list one, enter. Second list two, enter. I got my data correctly identified. Uh, my calculator's pointed in the right direction. I'll select the little square box, and then, and then, and then, the most important set of keystrokes to get your picture. Zoom. Number nine, zoom stat. Stat, stat, stat. Oh, look at that pretty picture. <clears throat> and you'll notice that it is pretty linear. And that's really what we're looking for. And by the way, I'm not going to try to set people up for failure. <clears throat> you can pretty much count on being able to run through these processes. So it's linear, linear enough. So now I can go ahead and actually conduct the test. <clears throat> I'll come back to you in a moment. Step number one, row equals zero, 
rho is not equal to zero, my null and alternative hypothesis. Here comes my calculator again. <laughs> Stat to tests near the end of the semester, so we're down near the bottom. Linear regression t test. Don't pick up the one below it, that's not the right one. <clears throat> the x list, second list one. The y list, second list two. Frequency is one that should not change. Don't worry about the little beta there, it doesn't play any role at all. But if your calculator is not set for the two-tailed test, make sure that happens. Every one of these tests is a two-tailed test. The regression equation is left blank for this uh, particular operation. And I'll just hit calculate and look for my p-value. Hello, p-value right there. 0 0.00123. So let me note that. 0 0.00123 with rounding. 0 0.00123, 0 0.05. It is less than 0 0.05. So we will reject the null hypothesis. <coughs> GPA are <clears throat> linearly correlated. At, and then I'll list the alpha, 0 0.05, and we're done. So pretty much every example follows this trajectory. And again, I'll note one, two, three, four, five. So we test for correlation. The data do support that. And this, as I say, does not change for any of the problems in Chapter 10. Goodbye. Please go away and come back and watch more videos soon enough.